Good morning. Um, had a thought the other night after I'd done that previous video on um, carving a saddleback. I will call it saddleback. Um, I also had the thought that I might need to do another little one, just a short one, on how to do a saddleback with a ridge down the middle. Um, how to get that ridge that we carved in before we flattened the top of the saddleback um, like that. We rounded that bottom off, but we had a flat with two small facets down the sides there like that. Uh, this time we're going to round the back, back off again. That's our land on the side. Um, but we're going to have a short ridge, a small ridge in the middle uh, and two facets. And that is going to follow um, that curve. We can do that, and there'll be a ridge in the middle down there. That's our land, and we take it away underneath it. So, how do we start with this one? This is the spoon we're going to carve today. Uh, it's another banks here. Little ladle this time, just a small ladle. We are, I'm going to shorten the handle on this later, so we'll only work from there. Um, we're going to come down, leave a little bit, we're going to carve that off. That's the thumb tab, comes up to there sort of, would be a bit lower than that. Right, now what, what we've got to do this time, instead of drawing a line down the center and carving up to that and leaving the pencil line there. We're going to actually define that line, but we're going to carve right over to this side. If we, if we went from that line there to the center line, it would be too peaky. It would be right like, like that. But what we want is something there. We want to be able to see it. We, we want to see the facets but we don't want a hard, a too big a hard ridge underneath our fingers. So, grain transition there, gonna watch that. So I'm going right over the other side with this one. So we've got our thumb, t thumb tab, come down, come up, angled here. We'll take that, we'll take that right down to the bowl. It doesn't matter if it gets a bit peaky in here because that's you don't have any fingers there. Then we're going to come the other side. And we're going to keep that angle the same, do it on that side, and that'll bring that edge back over to the middle. Um, like I've said before, chines uh, on boats, the, um, the ridge between two flat surfaces, where two flat surfaces meet, the, the ridge there is called a chine, usually on the outside of a hull. Um, the chine there uh, 
needs to be uh, not too peaky, but it doesn't matter up here. Right, you can see, uh, you can see that that ridge has moved over here, so shallow the angle on the knife. Carve it back towards the middle. Just make sure that the now, if you turn it side on. You can see that we've started to follow down, but this, the ridge line, is not as deep a curve as this line. So we're going to take that ridge down by angling across like that, push that ridge over, and then change the angle on the other side and push it back. Uh, this is what I mean. Now you can see, perhaps, the ridges here. We've got a big facet and a short facet. Now we should take that angle over here, shallow it by a couple of degrees. That, got it back in the middle there, so that's the angle I need. And now, if you look side on, you can see that we've actually increased that ridge line's curve. It dips down and up, and from the side, it's actually, the ridge line is actually starting to parallel that edge. And that's what we need to do. It's a little high here. So we'll move down. We'll take a bit off there. And we'll come back, shallow that angle, the knife angle again, and bring that ridge line, that chine, back to the middle. There we go. And the back of the spoon here, um, as per the last video, uh, bring it down, create a land. Uh, leave yourself enough thickness and carve it up, follow it through. And that's all I basically wanted to say in that little one. Just remember, if you change the angles on these, you'll move that line, that ridge line, that chine, backwards and forwards. And you've got to balance this side with this side so that that chine runs straight down the middle. Um, yeah, uh, what you can do then where this, we'll just clean that up, coming in, imagine we've, we've fine carving and we're putting a little uh, bevel on the edge here, uh, curve it in, take it out. This one, curve it in, take it out, and you get a nice little Y piece in the middle. You can, if you want, run that down and curve away. I'll show you how to do that now, actually. Run it down and then take it off the side of the bowl. And this side, run it down, then take it off the side of the bowl. And that way you end up with your little peak running all the way down to the bowl itself. Um, great fun using two flat surfaces to create curved line. I like that stuff. Catch you later.